Ending where everyone is together, including Azriel and you. Well, I would love that ending. I don't see how that couldn't happen. Though no, I'm quite stuck here, it seems. I can't say I've seen that ending, however. But perhaps with Frisk, it could be possible. Have you tried talking in another font to Sans, then easing your conversation into Wingdings? Also, in case he recognizes that caller ID, here's a new one. Zero, 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 zero. Good luck! Thanks again for helping us out, Alpheus. You're phone-tastic with these kind of things. Oh, no worries. You said this would help the doctor, right? I'm happy to help. Oh! Uh, uh, the phone! H hello M May I ask who's c calling? Oh, shit! H hold on just a moment, sir. Th this should work. Just... Th there. Hello, Alphys? It's Sans here. It worked. If so, may I speak to him? Sure. One moment, please, sir. This is Gaster, isn't it? Or do we have the wrong number? It worked. Sweet ass dude. That person who said you're creepy is lying. You are just too adorable and cute. You are all so very kind. But I must admit, I do seem to scare others with this current form. Aww, I don't think you're creepy, Gaster. You seem like a really nice guy, even if you are a tick. Melty? Plus, it's really obvious how much you love your sons. That ad almost just being mean. Psst. Don't listen to anyone who thinks you're creepy. You're very cute! You keep doing you, my goopy friend. <laughs> Gaster is love. Gaster is life. New quotes for my life is confirmed. You? Creepy? Quite frankly, I've seen far stranger variations of you throughout the timelines. You're actually rather normal for someone who no longer exists properly in the physical plane. Not to mention, a nice guy. That gray face clearly hasn't been around enough. Anon, you spelled handsome wrong. Just saying. Don't listen to what that Anon said about you being creepy. I think you're a perfectly normal person. Looks don't count, but your personality does. And your personality is shining with beauty. Aw, you're not creepy. You're so cute. I would totally give you a kiss. Goodness, there are quite a lot of you. Thank you. I got that. Can you tell us more about your wife? Where did she go? What was she like? Usida, yes. She was the type who would always smile at everything. She'd find the goodness in everyone's hearts. She held a quietness about her, though the words she would say were the sweetest. She always cared for me, always worried about my health, and when I asked her why she would be so willing to save with a person like me, at the time I was quite the obnoxious, selfish sort, she just smiled and said, Why not, silly? <laughs> you make me laugh. You are much more kind-hearted than you think. And I love you so much. She died shortly after the virus was born. She had gotten sick. It was too much for her. But I will always remember how happy she made me. How she made me a better person. Yes, sir. What did you look like when you were younger? Well, when I was a child, I looked like this. But I suppose that's not what you meant, was it? 
How often does Frisk come to visit you in the void? Not very often, but they do occasionally. Oh, there they are now. Welcome back, Frisk. I received a donation since we last met. Help yourself to some ice cream. And this is my pet, Chiller. Are you fully aware of what circumstances that Frisk went through to see you when they do? They have to alter space-time to have a door to the void be created, and sometimes, it doesn't even work. They probably go through at least an hour's worth of alterations to the space-time continuum just to get to you. I know you're not big on the whole physical contact thing, but you should at least consider giving them a hug next time you see them, for the trouble they go through to see you. You're right. How selfish of me. I didn't realize. Thank you, Frisk. It means so much for you to keep visiting me. Just take care of yourself. Hey, if Frisk can show up in the void, who's to say they can't take others with them? Seems like a really good idea to me. That would be quite the act of kindness. But no, I would have to decline. It is not that I wouldn't be happy seeing my sons and friends again, no. Dad? Who the hell is that? What happened to you? That's our dad? I don't want them to see me. Not like this. <laughs>